it's your girl Garabo Lamini, the answer to all your prayers and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now on this channel we're all about good times, good vibes and good chats and so if that's what you're all about and you're looking for some great content, definitely do join the family by subscribing to the channel, turning on your post notifications so you're notified every single time I upload a video and making sure you give this video a very big thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment down below because I love to know what you think, baby. Guys, me. it has been a while. It's been forever, I know. I haven't uploaded a video in <laughs> the longest of times and my biggest apologies. But to be quite honest, what happened was I filmed so many vlogs. Three. <laughs> I filmed three vlogs. One was my birthday. The other one was the girls getaway. And what was the third one again? I forgot what the third vlog was about and all three just weren't coming together like when I was editing the videos some of them there was footage that was missing and then some of them like when I put it together I just didn't like what the final product was looking like um and so that just really put me off like that discouraged me so much and I didn't film for the rest of December like I was like well then there's no point you know like it really did put me down like my spirits were just like every time i thought of filming i was like ah oh, then what happened the last time is gonna happen again but now your girl is back and i just like to take this time to say happy new year baby i know that we didn't enter 2021 in the best way possible but guys 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 we are making the most of this year COVID or no COVID, like sad times or no sad times, we're pushing ourselves to the limits, we're doing the most, and I'm just trying to see everybody win, if you are subscribed to my channel, darling, I'm trying to see you win, and we're gonna win together, okay, speaking of winning together, um, just for fun, um, well not really for fun, because of Vuni Miley, but, <laughs> um, what I'm gonna be doing this year is I'm gonna be following some savings plan that I actually got from my aunt, um, and I just thought it would be nice to share with you guys if you guys are looking for a savings plan and you didn't know, you know, what to do, what to hop on to, whatever the case is. Um, I'll share the one that I'm going to be following with you. Uh, I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen. You guys are going to see it. But yeah, as you can see, um, it's like a monthly savings plan starting off with 200 Jan and Jan. And then the amount increases by 200 every single month. So I would really, really like it. And I think it would be such a good idea for everybody to just hop onto this. Because, child, 15,000 Rand at the end of December. Or well, by December, by the time it's December. Uh, by the time it's December, that's a lot of money. And that's money nobody would have given you. Do you know what I'm saying? So I definitely think that this is a really good savings plan. And of course, if this is too high for you, then start lower. Like, start with 50 Rand, 100 Rand, 150, 200, and so forth. And if this is too little for you, increase the amount now, baby. Come on, increase the amount. Start off with 400 grand. Do what you can afford. I'm doing this one because I feel like it's the one that I could probably stick to the most. And so, yeah, I just thought it would be really nice to share this with you guys. If you guys want to be hopping onto this savings plan, please do DM me and let me know. I'm just interested in seeing how many people are actually going to follow this. But, yeah, and also, if you need a savings plan, buddy, listen, hey, I'm down for that. DM me, let me know that listen dude i need you to check on me every month check that if i'm actually saving if not you know like let's talk about it so yes honey those are the vibes and then i really have big plans for this channel this year like i am going big um i hope <laughs> i'm really gonna be trying my best to give you guys content that you guys are going to enjoy but also content that you guys can actually learn stuff from so other than the story times like i'm trying to give you content that you can gain somewhat knowledge from you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna be trying to do like interviews with a few people from different industries just so you guys can get some knowledge you know yeah well because we want to educate each other you know there's no point in me entertaining you but i don't teach you anything you know, so I'm looking at doing like a interview video every second month um, with people I find young people, actually, specifically young people who are trying to make it in their space of work or their space of creativity, whatever it is that they do. Um, the reason for this is I want to motivate you guys to actually execute your plans and do the things that you're looking to do. So the, that's one of the things I'm going to be doing on the channel this year. Um, I'm going to be changing the intro soon. I actually wanted to change the intro with this video. 
but there's a reason that i'm not doing it and i'm not going to share it with you guys as yet because you guys are going to find out sooner or later so <laughs> i'd rather it be later than sooner um yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna say but yes i will be changing the intro and the outro um yeah so just expect a lot from the channel man expect a lot stick around you know what i mean <laughs> without further ado let us just get into this video because what a long intro that was anywho you guys can probably already tell from the title that this video is another story time oh baby girl was embarrassed okay like chill. oh my god what oh god what fuzzment what fuzzment anyway so this story time guys oh my what you are uh <laughs> Yes, guys, they, I have been embarrassed in my life. But this time, take the cup. Listen, child, I've never. I've never. Anywho, let's get into the story time. So, one day, one day, <laughs> me and my mom decided to go to Columbine and went to get stuff um, to cook dinner that day because there's no meat in the house. So, we went to Columbine Square um, near the Glen. And man, listen, we walk in to check us like normal people. Then there's that table, nah? the gym company table, right? Like, you know how gym company is, like they advertise in different places. They're always in malls and that sort of thing. So they happen to be at Columbine, like right by the checkers, right? So obviously these guys try and stop us, my mom and I, um, and try to like, you know, offer us this membership or whatever, but we didn't stop. We never stop, right? So my mom was like, no, we don't want such a membership. It's okay. This gent, Basalwane, literally pulls me. Ne? Like, he literally pulled my arm. And he's like, oh no, listen, this like, you might be interested in this. Like, he's really trying to sell me this thing, right? And then, when I get to the table, my mom's like, and I'm like, okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. This gent gives me the paper, right? And then, I don't know, like, on the paper, there's a stamp, and it has his name and his number. And it's like, listen, dude, I'm not even about this gym membership thing. Just take this paper. This is my name. This is my number. Hit me up. And I was like, well, oh, okay. And he's cute that time, guys. Like, super cute. Like, cute, 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 okay? So I'm like, okay, cool. Nah, didn't give it away the when I spoke to him. I just took the paper and I walked away. I went into checkers. My mom and I are shopping, whatever, whatever, getting everything that we need. Then, um, my, God, what happened? I don't know what it is that my mom didn't find at Checkers. So she's like, I must quickly run to clicks and get it, right? So, okay, cool. I left Checkers. On my way out, as I walk out, he stops me and he's like, oh, ah, uh, no, 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 your ex-girlfriend, yeah, which means here's my ex-girlfriend, right? So I look at this gems and I'm like, ex-girlfriend, me, sorry, but you must be mistaken, Right? and then the friend's like hi ah, man and like you look like somebody i know and i'm like i look like that person but trust me i'm not and it's like no man there's this girl i know and she works at rage and i was like uh, that's the first problem i don't work at rage <laughs> no okay wrist right and i'm like no i don't work at rage at, at i don't work number one i'm a school student i just finished high school or whatever and he's like yeah no man no fun on the exam no fun on the exam and i'm like dude i am not your ex it's like ah, okay baby i'm good enough back yeah and i'm like so <laughs> i'm like um it's so our last or whatever and then i kept walking so i went to clicks and i got what i needed to get and then i always had to go back to checkers again because my mom was still in checkers on my way back to check us, this guy is like, ah, when I often will you peel off back, often will you peel off back. And he's like, dude, I really miss you. Like, I really miss you. And I'm trying to get it down with you again, you know. I'm sorry for the mistakes I made in the past. And I'm like, dude, you don't even know me. Obviously, he was joking, though. And then um, he's like, I should give him my number because he knows I'm not going to text him. And I'm like, no, I really will text you. And he's like, I still want your number. And then he's like, yeah, no, you know these girls, hey. These girls, these girls always run away. They take your number and they never hit you up. So I gave him my number. Literally two seconds of me walking into the car after my mom comes out of checkers. This guy sends me a text and it's like, Oh hi babe. So what what um Utsin, you love back? And then I laughed and I'm like, dude, like 
rest hey like rest and then we spoke from there like conversation on conversation on conversation on conversation on conversation and it was flowing flow hey yeah because if it was not me and this gent on a phone call or video call this gent would call me when he was at work like he called me with the work phone so like they alternate between like going to the tables and like doing the promo and whatever and actually being in the office so when he was at the office he would call me guys the whole day and i was like this guy like is his boss not watching him like what's the vibes you know he'd video call me at work like guys i would speak to the people he works with and whatever like literally this is this, this was only week one of knowing each other then one day i think it was the friday of that week because the day i met him and whatever was a monday the friday no the saturday of that week ne? um he says at night it's like later on at night it's like oh listen babe yeah we, they were calling me babe already okay so you understand with these things were kichimari we were totally we were playing right cool um and he's like listen babe um my brother's hosting some events at his tavern so i'm gonna be there tonight just to help him out and stuff because he's short on stuff so i'm gonna be there helping him out so i won't be on my phone but i'll call you as soon as i get home and i'm like okay cool no problem get away they inform me about such things you know that like this gent is somebody i only know for a week he doesn't owe me that explanation but he was explaining himself to me like what what i was like god you is good because i've been praying for this man like where has he been my whole life and he was actually very young surprisingly very very young um i wouldn't say his age though but he was young like yeah he's not older than 21 and he's not 21 either so <laughs> yeah but okay cool so he tells me and whatever i'm like okay cool i did go to sleep right and i woke up in the morning and i'm like this gent didn't call me. Now I'm like, yeah, no. Okay? Like, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm gonna give it to him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not me. Playing up this guy's WhatsApp line, sending him 10,000 messages. I am fucking him that time. I'm fucker, guys. Like, I'm fucker. I'm giving to him. You don't respect me. What, 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 what? I'm going off. I am going off. This is the same hand who was saying this gender no explanation. <sighs> going off at this gent. I'm going off at this gent. Um, all these messages are one take. And I'm like, what's that like? When his phone is on, he's going to get them. He's going to get those messages. And he's going to see Uwuti Benimu Fokka. That's the point. Oksalayo. Okay. Then, um, I think it was like, th this was in the morning, like right after I woke up. So then at like five, I'm like, this chain's phone is still off. That's a guy's bank block here. Not me asking everyone, guys, when somebody blocks you, can you see the display picture? Because I could see his display picture, but I was thinking, why is he not online? Why is he not texting me? Why is he not calling me? So I didn't have airtime. I made sure, guys, I got airtime. I called him. You have airtime. Where's the mouse on the So in my head, I've come to the conclusion that they also blocked my calls. But on WhatsApp, they didn't block me because I could still see the DP and the status, like the OG status the old status not the story slash status one no the real real status that one where you write i'm not available that one so i'm okay cool they didn't block me so maybe his phone is just off ah guys what they I made peace and I was like, yes, in Garabo. go sleep, my child. Sleep. Maybe tomorrow morning when you wake up, he would have sent you a text and explaining himself and everything is going to be fine. You know, yes, true. Cool. Um, I wake up the next day. No text, no nothing. One deep key phone is set off. At this point, I'm feeling like a clown. 
at this point i'm thinking yeah because i knew where he's there i'm like yeah yeah you're melanda yeah listen i'm yes obviously i wasn't gonna do that it was just me being a clown even more cool you know what now day three comes same thing his phone is off it's one tick and i'm like you know what girl maybe his phone got stolen at the tavern you know that's and i'm thinking that's the only explanation and i'm like no man i should go i should go back to columbine you know and and see if this gent is still there but i never had time to go back by the time i went back the, like the table wasn't there anymore so i was like you know what it's cool girl you missed out Bush up keep it moving you know let's 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 keep going good right no so i made peace with it i was okay i was over the streets i went to go visit my cousin ne? like now it had been like a month or two that passed I went to go visit my cousin and my at her house hi man i didn't know man so i said to my other cousin that i was going to visit my other cousin with Woo, child. yeah i'm like to her no man this is my boyfriend's car he's not my boyfriend but that's the only way i could refer to him at the time like, this is my boyfriend's car hi i saw dela le moto did you this is my boyfriend and i went mad i threw a fit and there was a, a lady in the front seat but she was like old so i knew it wasn't a girlfriend or whatever i lost my mind guys only in that moment did i remember Uti, this chain stays in the same area as my cousin only to find out the next street so hey 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 Jim Lo, I'm like, I am going to his house. Diaya, I am fetching him. It's me and him. We are going down, baby. Like, my excitement levels, guys. I was literally on top of the world. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is a sign. But God is sending me a sign. He's telling me, go get your man, girl. Go get your man. Cool. Obviously, he was leaving like the area, so I don't know where he was going with the lady that he was with, right? So, um, we're chilling at my cousin's house, and I'm like, to my cousin, okay, no, let's go check if he's back. We go over there, so we went to the next street, and he really is back because his car was outside. Now, I'm panicking, but I'm like, okay, guys, it's too dark. I need to go in, I need to go get my man. I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm everything. I couldn't do it, I couldn't knock like that because I'm thinking, what if that lady's his mom? Nah. And like now his mom's would be thinking this gent has girls who knock at his house like what wild you know so next door there's kids playing so i'm like to my cousin ask these kids if oh i can't say his name damn if um let's give him a name let's say orange car ask these kids if orange car is here so my cousin says um someone oh orange car con and they're like oh yeah 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 I'll con and I'm like, okay, ask, ask, ask these kids who he stays with. And it's like, ah, uh, orange car in Arashanda, Ushala, the other side. So same area, but somewhere else. I don't want to say because then it's going to give the area away, whatever, you know. But yeah, so he stayed in that area as well, just not the street that he was at. But Lakshalu Mamaki. So where he was is his mom's house. So him and his mom live in the same area, just different houses. So he has his house on the other side, and then his mom his mom's house is also the opposite side so i'm thinking okay so this is his mom's house how do i knock at his mom's house so my cousin and i leave and i'm like okay once i've built the stability the stability to go we're gonna do this okay cool and it was cold it was cold i was standing outside so i'm like to my cousin the one the one that we went to go see my other cousin with i was like so my cousin i don't like saying people's names Ooh, that cousin of mine with us when I got my jacket. So she went, she got jackets from my cousin. Ne? After she comes out, I'm like, okay, I'm doing this. We go to his street. There's kids playing in the yard, his yard now. And I'm like, okay, this is my shot. Just ask these kids to call him and he must come outside. We ask the kids to call him. They call him. Buy him these orange car. A poo. Yo! <laughs> hey, hey. When I saw this man, I was thinking, oh my God, are you not fine? But my heart. Yay, yay, yay. 
my heart is beating out of my chest guys like i was like what am i doing i was like why did my cousin let me do this that's what's going through my brain at that moment he looks at me and the way he's looking at me i can tell him oh, man this guy doesn't know who this is and i'm thinking oh crap you're screwed i just wanted to run away like i just i just wanted to run away like I was like, Lord, can something just come and hit me? Knock me unconscious in this moment, please. Okay. He walks out the gate. He comes to me and he's like, um, hi. And I'm like, hi. And I'm like, how are you? He's like, I'm fine. And then, um, I'm no. Yeah. Then I was like, I'm fine. Then, um, I'm like, you don't remember me, do you? And he's like, no. <laughs> Hey, guys, I don't know what to do with myself. I don't know what to do. in that moment. My cousin is laughing, she's walking away. I'm thinking, oh my god, like, I'm like, someone save me, save me, save me, come, come. <gasps> save me, save me, right? Cool. I'm like, oh, okay, well, then this is awkward. Um. It's a girl that she met at Columbine with her mom. And it's like, oh, I can't talk right now because I'm with my mom. Yes. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, I was like, oh, okay. Bye. I was like, bye. And then he went back in. Him and his mom went back in. I have never been so embarrassed in my life. I have never, I have experienced embarrassment, but that embarrassment was embarrassed to the next level. I've never. That was the day I decided I will never shoot my shot ever again. Guys, that, that, that man looked at me like, who are you? Like, like, and like, guys, this is the gent who was calling me when he was supposed to be working. This is the man who was video calling me, making me talk to his colleagues. This is the very same man who says he don't remember me and it's only been like a month or two. Damn, bro. I, I felt so disrespected. But more, like more than anything, I was embarrassed. Mm. Like, guys, I still remember that day like it was yesterday. Like, I remember how I felt in that moment. I just wanted to crawl in a hole and never come out of it. And in my head, I kept saying, I must never see this guy again. I must never see this guy again. So every time I go and visit my cousin, I literally need to try and duck and dodge it. Because I don't want to see him. I don't want to see him. Long story short. Banna. Banna. Ke ma. See, point blank period i say what i said and i meant what i said guys like i couldn't believe how someone who literally went to such great lengths to get my number you know well not really but i mean he did like i was with my mom and he literally pulled me but still someone who was calling me baby after three hours of knowing each other so and i was like guys i was like why why are men like this what is it with men like what is wrong with you like you don't know, like guys talk to us let us help you no like let's help you because no i need rights and as a gender i need rights mm -mm. as 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 machita highly sharp guys highly sharp let like honestly let's discuss this guys let's discuss like ye me ah man i don't understand i don't it doesn't make sense to me no man anywho ever since that day i swore to myself i will never ever shoot my shot ever again no ways in how will i ever will you see me me shoot my shot <laughs> in your mind i must be mad not need to you can give me a, a i will never shoot my shot ever again guys and the thing is now imagine with this jet i wasn't shooting my shot i was just i was semi shooting my shot 
Do you know what I'm saying? Now imagine I got embarrassed like that. Shuguti, when I shoot my shot full swing, ah, your new amos, ah, Shuguti, my embarrassment is gonna be guns blazing. Mm? Mm -mm. Anyways, guys, that is the story time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, I know. It was really embarrassing, guys. Like, that was one of my most embarrassing moments. Like, it's top two and it's not two like literally it is not two so yes guys that was today's story time i hope you guys enjoyed it you know if you did make sure you leave a comment down below let me know what you thought of the story time let me know what you think of this gent actually but yes anyway from me to you it's nothing but love baby until next time